Hello, today we're going to talk about how to do an introduction to your newspaper. So um, we're going to start with uh, looking at the book holes and the actual piece that we need to understand to actually write our newspaper about. So I'm just going to share with you um, the actual chapter. So this is tw chapter 26 of Holes. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read it for you. And hopefully that will help you to understand. I'm just going to move this and resize this to understand the information you need to put in your actual whole newspaper report. And then what we'll do is we'll look at what we're going to write as an introduction and what an introduction is. So um, as I, I read, there were no telephones, but word spread quickly through the small town. By the end of the day, everyone in Green Lake had heard that the school teacher had kissed the onion picker. Not one child showed up for school the next morning. Miss Catherine sat alone in the classroom and wondered if she'd lost track of the day of the week. Perhaps it was Saturday. It wouldn't have surprised her. Her brain and heart had been spinning ever since Sam kissed her. She heard a noise outside the door, then suddenly a mob of men and women came storming into the school building. They were led by Trout Walker. There she is, Trout shouted, the devil woman. The mob was turning over desks and ripping down bulletin boards. She's been poisoning your children's brains with books, Trout declared. They began, they began piling all the books in the centre of the room. Think about what you're doing, cried Miss Catherine. Someone made a grab for her, tearing her dress, but she managed to get out of the building. She ran to the sheriff's office. The sheriff had his feet up on his desk and was drinking from a bottle of whiskey. Morning, Miss Catherine, he said. They're destroying the schoolhouse, she said, gasping for breath. They'll burn it to the ground if someone doesn't stop them. Just calm your pretty self down a second, the, ser the sheriff said in a slow drawl, and tell me what you're talking about. He got up from his desk and walked over to her. Trout Walker has. Now don't you go say nothing bad about Charles Walker, said the sheriff. We don't have much time, urged Catherine. You've got to stop them. You're sure pretty, said the sheriff. Miss Catherine stared at him in horror. Kiss me, said the sheriff. She slapped him across the face. He laughed. You kiss the onion picker. Why won't you kiss me? She tried to slap him again, but he caught her by the hand. She tried to wriggle free. You're drunk, she yelled. I always get drunk before a hanging. A hanging? Who? It's against the law for a Negro to kiss a white woman. Well, then you'll have to hang me too, said Catherine, because I kissed him back. It ain't against the law for you to kiss him, the sheriff explained, just for him to kiss you. We're all equal under the eyes of God, she declared. The sheriff laughed. Ha, if, well, then if Sam and I are equal, why won't you kiss me? He laughed again. I'll make you a deal. One sweet kiss and I won't hang your boyfriend. I'll just run him out of town. Miss Catherine jerked her hand free. As she hurried to the door, she heard the sheriff say, the law will punish Sam and God will punish you. She stepped back into the street and saw smoke rising from the schoolhouse. She ran down to the lakefront where Sam was hitching Mary Lou to the onion cart. Thank God I found you, she sighed, hugging him. We've got to get out of here now. What? Someone must have seen us kissing yesterday, she said. They set fire to the schoolhouse. The sheriff said he's going to hang you. Sam hesitated for a moment, as if he couldn't quite believe it. He didn't want to believe it. Come on, Mary Lou. We have to leave Mary Lou behind, said Catherine. Sam stared at her a moment. There were tears in his eyes. OK. Sam's boat was in the water, tied to a tree by a long rope. He untied it and they waded through the water and climbed aboard. His powerful arms rowed them away from the shore. But his powerful arms were no match for Trout Walker's motorised boat. 
They were little more than halfway across the lake when Miss Catherine heard the loud roar of the engine. Then she saw the ugly black smoke. These are the facts. The walker boat smashed into Sam's boat. Sam was shot and killed in the water. Catherine Barlow was rescued against her wishes. When they returned to shore, she saw Mary Lou's body lying on the ground. The donkey had been shot in the head. That all happened 110 years ago. Since then, not one drop of rain has fallen on Green Lake. You make the decision, whom did God punish? Three days after Sam's death, Miss Catherine shot the sheriff while he was sitting in his chair drinking a cup of coffee. Then she carefully applied a fresh coat of red lip lipstick and gave him the kiss he had asked for. For the next 20 years, kissing Kate Barlow was one of the most feared outlaws in all the West. So what you'll need for today's lesson is some paper and a pencil or a pen to write with. So if you haven't got them, just pause the video for a moment and go and find them. Okay, so today what we're going to do is we're going to write that introduction for our newspaper report. So step one is just for you to understand why an introduction is so important in your newspaper report. Step two, you can understand what the five W's are and spot them. Um, step three, I want you to locate the correct information to use for the five W's in the newspaper report about Sam's death. And in step four, I want you to write a full introduction to your report. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, so this is my turn. Here you'll see I've got a section of a, uh, um, well, an introduction from a newspaper report. Okay, after a six month stay on the International Space Station, astronauts Tim Peake, Yuri Malenchenko, and Timothy Copra have finally returned home to Earth. Okay, so why do we have this introduction? Our question, our, our thought uh, is that we can understand why an introduction is so important. So basically an introduction, or as it's also known, an orientation, is the first thing that you're gonna read in a newspaper report. And the idea is it gives you a taste of what the rest of the report is about, but it gives you almost kind of a summary. So what you want to do is you want to read on, you want to find out what the details are about their six months stay. You want to understand how they returned home to earth. So it's it's giving you a taste. So the full story will actually answer all those questions that pop up in your mind when you actually read the introduction. Okay, so the, five, the next, um, Step two is I, you going to understand what the five W's are and spot them in an introduction. So we have the same introduction again. Um, so who is in this introduction? So the five W's relate to the who, the what, where, when, and why. So we want to know who is the introduction about, Tim Peake, Yuri Malenchenko, Malenchenko, I'll get it right, and Timothy Copra. Okay, what did they do? They returned home. Where did they return home to? Well, to Earth. When? I presume it's now. And why? Because they'd finished their six month stay. So what you need to do is in your introduction, it must cover all of these five W's down here. It must explain all of these sections, the who, the what, the where, the when, and the why. Okay, so I'm going to put another introduction here for you. What I'd like you to do, I'd like you to stop the video, pause it for a moment, and I'd like to write on your paper, um, from this introduction, what is the, the who, the what, where, the when, and the why. Okay, so an incredibly lucky couple have been celebrating this week after winning £800,000 on the lottery. Their second big win in just four years. Okay, pause the video and see if you can work out the five W's. Okay, um, so welcome back. Uh, hopefully you found out 
the who. Uh, what I've done is I've just hidden them under here, so I'll remove them. So if you're going to check your work, so have a look at your answers and see if they if they're the same as the answers I've got. Okay, so who? An incredibly lucky couple. What did they do? Well, they won £800,000 in the lottery. Now, where? It doesn't actually give you a precise where, but if you think about it, it's £800,000. So I'm guessing it would have to be in England. Uh, when? Well, again, it does say, it says this week. So we do have um, a when. Why? Well, why is it important? Because it was their second big win in just four years. Lucky them. Okay, so we've got the why. Okay. So have a look at your work. And if you didn't get the same, uh, correct it now. Pause the video if you need to, to do your corrections. And if not, just carry on. Okay, so now we're actually going to relate it to the actual story we're looking at. So we are thinking about the book Holes that we've been reading um, for this term. And um, we are going to be writing a whole newspaper report uh, about Sam's death. Now, to do that, you actually need two uh, chapters. You need chapter 25 and 26. So if you read chapter 25, that gives you the background knowledge you need. And chapter 26 is really about the actual event itself. So um, what I've got here is just a small section that um, actually includes the basics of what happened. So um, what we're going to do together, and I'll ask you to have a look first, was I want you to, from here, I'm going to ask you to read that um, by yourself in a moment. Can you work out who, what, where, when, and why? The five Ws, I'll just move this up here. Uh, and make sure you write down your answers, and then we'll compare them. Okay. If you go, pause the video if you need to. Okay, so having looked here, we'll just give it a quick read. Um, these are the facts. The walker boat smashed into Sam's boat. Sam was shot and killed in the water. Catherine Barlow was res rescued against her wishes. When they returned to the shore, she saw Mary Lou's body lying on the ground. And Mary Lou is the donkey, which had been shot in the head. That all happened 110 years ago. Since then, not one drop of rain has fallen on Green Lake. Now, I'm imagining that actually this newspaper report wasn't written 110 years later, that this was actually written maybe the, the day after this happened. So when you're actually writing your report, you want to be a newspaper in the days when Catherine Barlow and Sam the Onion Man had actually just died. OK, so with the who, you should have put something like Sam the Onion Man, but also you could have included in that Catherine Barlow or even um, Trout Walker. Uh, what happened to him? He was shot and killed. As one of your answers, you also might have written something that just implied he was killed and you might have given us a little bit more um, mystery because that's sometimes what people do is actually in that introduction you won't actually tell people precisely what happened you might actually just say that he was he was killed or he died um, you might even actually want to imply that it was Walker, who was the hero, who actually saved the town from such a criminal as Sam, who had dared to kiss a white woman. So you might even want to start it off with a slightly different feel to it. Where? Well, he, Sam was in a boat on Green Lake when he was killed. When? Should have got yesterday. Why? Well, you could have that he was running away. You could also have, um, it could be that he was um, trying to uh, protect um, Catherine or kissing Kate as she was later known. So there are 
there isn't necessarily just one reason. So you want to think carefully about what you want to say in the introduction. Where is your article going to go to, your newspaper paper article? What do you really want to say? Whose perspective are you going to look at this from? And remember in the day, for somebody to kiss, for a, um, a black man to kiss a white woman, it was seen as, as um, against the law and obviously punishable by death. So which kind of... Um, person's view are you going to take your whole newspaper report from okay um i'm going to leave you now you've got your ideas from this page here now yours might be different to mine as long as they refer to this actual incident that's absolutely fine i want you to now go away and use those five w's that you've got to work out uh, an actual introduction now for mild I'm, I'm imagining um, that um, you'll use the five W's we've made in the last screen and write one or two sentences. So I'm imagining that you'll just take um, the basic information and write one or two sentences from that. And remember, an actual introduction is only one or two sentences long. It is not a long piece of work. It's not a long paragraph. Um, medium. You might want to change the reason for why the accident happened. So we've got a, we might want a different reason. The reason there oops, was that he was running away from punishment. You might want to change it and put it from Trout Walker's perspective um, and that Trout Walker was protecting the town maybe from a, a dangerous black man. So you want to think about also about the politics of the time. For hot, um, make your five doubles reflect the racist views of the time and immediately stress that Walker's a hero, which is what I've been talking about. You might want to do that and make sure you do this in one or two sentences. So each of these are only one or two sentences. Extra hot is decide who is going to be your hero, making sure you reflect the views of the time. What will you call Sam? Will he be? just plain Sam the Onion Man, or will he be somebody else? Will he be suddenly a criminal and somebody that's dangerous? Okay. Um, now, when we haven't, we're haven't, we not gonna use this on the planning sheet, so I'll just hide that for a second, but I, could I would like you to just write this on the piece of paper that you've just used to write your if other information down from this video, okay? Well, um, have fun. Um, and I look forward to seeing your introductions on Dojo or in the class. Okay, bye.